Hello, and welcome to a review by Zombill. In today's review, we're going to take a look at a product that the good folks at miniecigarette.com sent to me. A big thank you to those folks, by the way. They sent me the Joytech eCab. And I gotta say, this is a very interesting e-cigarette. Um, it's uh, definitely a great piece of technology. Um, I'm gonna basically show you uh, how to set it up, walk you through it, um, all the do's and don'ts about it, and uh, give you my honest opinion about it at the very end. Um, <clears throat> and they also provided me with uh, some e-liquid and this is menthol of course because I am a menthol smoker by choice so uh, let's get to it okay so this is the Joytech e-cab and um, the color of this particular model uh, I know some sites have it listed as a certain color, but I'm going to call it a cherry red. Uh, just makes sense. And on the box, you see that it says e cab. The chargeable atomizer battery. And of course, it says joytech.com on the sides. And it also says joytech. Uh, Joy Life with E Technology, and it says the E Cab on the other side as well. And on the bottom, it says the E Cab is an alternative to smoking a traditional tobacco based cigarette. It is not to be used as a form of nicotine replacement therapy and is not intended for use as a smoking cessation device. Hmm. This product should not be used by persons under 18 years of age, persons who have demonstrated sensitivity to nicotine, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, or persons with a heart condition. Okay. Now we got past the fancy jumbo. Let's open it up and see what we get. Alright. So when we open up the box, which is a very cool looking box, great design. Um, this is the actual unit very nice looking unit. Let's take it out and have a look at it real quick. Okay. The uh, design on this really cool looking. I mean you get what's called a tank setup. So let's see here. If I can pull it out. Without... Okay. This is what they call um, an ego tank and um, it's used on the Ego C and the Ego T. Um, it's uh, you basically fill the liquid into it, and it sits down on what they call an atomizer. I'm going to show that here in just a minute. Uh, it basically burns, or I should say, it heats up the liquid and turns it into a water vapor and that's how it delivers the uh, nicotine liquid the liquid nicotine into your system and that's what produces the water vapor and that's what comes out that looks like a smoke type substance so okay we have the the tank set that to the side and the next piece you have which is this piece is just basically a uh, tank cone or an atomizer cone which you know it's just used to cover up the atomizer make it look pretty it's got a nice little gold band there it says joy tech on it. I know you can't see with my camera but it does say joy tech it really looks nice you know you can see inside there's nothing inside of it there so it's just basically just a cover up to make the unit look whole okay and then the next piece is basically the uh, the heart of the e-cigarette 
the soul, you, you know, if you will. Um, this is the device that operates the whole thing. Okay, and it's not a battery because it takes a battery. Now, what this takes is it takes uh, a 10 440, um, which is a small type battery. I'll show you that here in a minute because they include that in the kit. And uh, there's a, a battery cover here. And it's, it's different than most of your battery cover designs because instead of it being a screw-on, what it has is it has these two little uh, like bobble features. There's one there and swinging around there's the other one. So basically if you twist this bottom piece and you unline those, you can pull out carefully the, the battery piece and there's your battery cover. And you see it's got the nice little spring on it and it takes the 10 440 which is a 360 ma battery and it looks like a triple-A battery but you don't use a triple-A battery because that's not advisable don't do it. <laughs> it it'll cause problems trust me okay so there you have your heart and soul of the e-cigarette okay so let's put these down and show you the rest of the, what you get in the kit Okay, so when you remove the top section here, in the bottom layer, what you'll get is you get you get your your instruction manual, which that's what I'm walking you through basically. I'm giving you more of a detailed instruction than the instruction manual would. Okay, and you'll get the charging case for the batteries that you get, which let me show you that real quick. Okay. This is a really neat little battery charger. You put your batteries in this and you've got your USB plug that you can plug into any of your USB ports on your computer. And see the way it works is they've got the USB plug tucked in underneath the battery charger and you basically just take and pull it out like that okay and you put your batteries in from let's see positive end down here to negative end and you can put both of them in if you need to but basically you just do it one at a time because they give you two two batteries it the unit only takes one so you just basically gonna be charging one at a time and I generally can get about mmm anywhere between five to seven hours of bait time with this unit so it's you know fairly comfortable amount of bait time okay so that's how it charges and when it's on the charger you'll have some LED indicators right here and when you drop the battery in that needs charging the left side the left one will turn red and when it's completely charged it'll light green but if it's already charged it will indicate so by being green and the same thing with the right side if it needs to be charged it will indicate by the right side being red and when it's fully charged it will be green so that's basically how the battery charger works and it also has the Joytech logo on it so and another thing that they include for this in the kit in case you don't have a USB port is they include a wall adapter plug so that you can hook in like so and charge it from your wall like that nifty cool sleek great design I know it's great like that so let's go ahead and set this to the side All right, now show you the batteries here. Okay, and in in the kit you'll get a package of two batteries. These are the 1044, the 10 440s. They're 360 mAh batteries. I'll show what they look like. They give you two of them.
and they're both different colors. <clears throat> there was one that's gray, and there's one that's black. And they both have the Joytech logo on them. Cool. So, and they also say on there, let's see if I can get the camera to pick this up. Okay, it's kind of a little bit distorted, but I think you can make it out. It says ICR 10 440 3.7 volts at 360 MAH. So it says all the information about it right there alongside. Now, let's set those to the side and I'll finish showing you what else you get here. Okay, now as far as the atomizers go, you get a package of two atomizers right there. That's what they look like. They're also known as Ego C atomizers because these are the same little atomizers that get used on the Ego Cs. So there's the atomizers. Now you also get, along with what I already showed you, when we pulled out the unit from the top of the box you also get two other tanks uh, and I'll talk more about those here in a minute and then you also get a bag that comes with three well most of your kids out there um, are supposed to come with three what they call soft caps which let me show you here. <clears throat> they go on the end of these tanks. This is what a soft cap looks like. Looks just like that. Replace the hard, it replaces the hard portion of the tank. I'm going to go more into depth about that here in a minute. Um, but that's a soft cap. Now, for some reason, this kit, it had two. But it seems like everywhere I looked... Uh, for what the contents of these kits are supposed to have. It seemed like they all are supposed to have th at least three. Um, I don't know if it was just this kit or maybe Joytech just accidentally left the one out of this one. I don't know. But it seems like in most cases it's supposed to have three of the soft ones. So I'm going to assume, I hate to use that word, but generally speaking uh, it's safe to say that you should be getting three of the soft caps for your tanks and you'll also get two of these uh, covers for your tanks now the only purpose that I can see for these are if you bite down while you're vaping or if you want to share with someone the experience because personally I just I don't I've never used it but I could see like if somebody else wanted to like try it out and you're like oh well here try it out and they're like no dude could you've already tried it and I'm like oh okay well here let's just put this on there here try this now because now you don't have to you know okay so I think you see my point <laughs> so but you'll get two of those and here again I don't know why it's two you would think that it would be three because there's three tanks in the kit but anyways it's two and that you know with the other kits that I've seen online those are supposed to be two because that's what's included with those as well um, and that pretty much does it for what you get in the kit So. Let me talk a little bit more about these tanks. Now, okay, here you have the tank with the hard still on it. All right, now, you don't necessarily have to take this off. I've done a little trial and experiment with this. You can leave this on and it does still work why it is that they felt the need to pop the sucker off and have you put this on in its place I don't know 
I've not been able to figure that out. But you have the option. If you want to take this off, you basically just either snap it off like that, or you take a small jeweler's type flathead screwdriver, um, or like for eyeglasses, and you basically just go underneath the deal here, and you just wiggle it loose, and it'll just pop up. You don't have to exert a whole lot of force, and basically it'll look like this. Let me show you. That is what it'll look like when you take it off. So, <clears throat> But as I said, you don't have to take it off because I've done some trial and experiment with it, and it still works with it on. <clears throat> It works just as well as with the soft. So it's up to you. <clears throat> the reason why I did that is because I wanted to be able to use the third tank as I was putting this through the trial and error testing phase. So I went ahead and tried it anyways. And it did work. So, you know, I wanted to share that with you. So... Um, these tanks will take about, um, one mil to about 1.1 mil of, uh, e-juice. So that's not a whole lot. But for a new vapor, or I should say vaporer or vaporizer, somebody that's just getting into vaping, um, that could probably last you quite a while. So... Uh, it's good. Okay, so, um, let's go ahead and set the e-cig up, and I'll talk a little bit more about it. Alright. Now, here is the battery unit. Okay, and I'm going to show you the proper way of putting in the battery. Now, you want to take your 10 440 positive side, and you're going to take the uh, the heart and soul of the SIG, and you're going to put it in positive end first, okay, just like so. And you're going to take your battery cover, and you're just going to carefully place it in there so you don't mess anything up. Now, what's going to happen is... As you'll notice, I hope, okay, yeah, it already started doing it. Let me do it again. When I put this in there and make connection with the battery, you'll see that the light on this is going to flash. That's an indication that you've made a positive connection with the spring on the battery cover and the interior portion of the uh, battery with the ESIG unit. Okay, so, yep, there it goes. Okay, so basically, you want to line this up with the bobbles, and you want to make that, you want to make the little bobble things line back up in their holes. That way, it's not going to fall out on you. And there it is. <clears throat> now, why it is that the video does that, I don't know. You'll have to excuse the video for pausing like that. It does that every once in a while. Okay, so now we have that set up. Now we're going to show the atomizer. So grab your atomizer, and you're going to pull your atomizer out of the little packaging that it's in. And I know it can be a little bit uh, difficult because it's in such small packaging, but you're going to take your little ego C atomizer. I know it's so tiny it's cute. But you're gonna take that and you're basically just gonna it doesn't screw in it just sits right down on top of it just like that and my suggestion is is that you kind of line it up with the uh, the fire mechanism the fire button you know, you don't really have to line it up, but I tend to do that. I guess it might be a little OCD, I don't know. But that's what it looks like. 
and that's what you basically need to do. Okay, so then you're going to grab your atomizer cone or your tank cone, whatever you want to call it, and you're going to basically just put that over top like this, and, you're just, and it just screws right on. Okay. Now, we've got that far with it. Now we're going to check to make sure that the atomizer is going to fire. And we're also, I'm also going to explain how to turn the unit on. Oh, well, it's supposed to not be on, but I guess it automatically came on when we put the battery on. Let's, let's, I'm going to explain how to turn it off. This is what they call a five click on, five click off uh, unit. Now, what that means is you basically push this in continuously five times um, in a sequence. Uh, and sometimes these buttons can be a little temperamental. So you have to kind of like pace yourself. And I think it might also depend on your unit. So it might depend on how it performs for you. So you'll have to figure out based on what your unit does for you. But it definitely is five, uh, one, two, three, four, five, you know, for off, or one, two, three, four, five for on. And I'll demonstrate. Okay. This is going to be turning it off. One, well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Well, did it do it? No, it didn't do it. Okay, let's try again here. Two, three, four, five. Okay, there it did it. That turned it off because, as you've seen, it flashed. So now we're going to turn it back on. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Now it's on. Now, I've shown you how to turn it on and off. Now I'm going to show you. Uh, we're going to see that it fires correctly. So. Basically, I'm going to show you the inside of it, and I'm going to press down on the fire, and we're going to see if it either produces a little bit of vapor or if it starts to glow. I think it was firing. Let's make sure here. Yes, it's firing because I can see it producing vapor. Okay, so now that we now that we know the atomizer is firing correctly, now we can fill the tank and then we can put it in. So we'll set that to the side. And what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to grab your, your empty tank. And I just happen to have one of the ones that I actually pulled the hard piece off and put the soft cap on. And I'm going to fill it with juice. So what you want to do is take that soft cap back off like so. Okay. And you're going to want to open up your e-liquid. Okay. And you're going to want to carefully fill it just about to the, uh, right underneath the line where the soft cat sits down on. little bit more okay right about there now I don't know if you can tell by looking at it but the liquid level is right underneath that line and that's exactly where you want it to be okay now you want to carefully place that soft cap back on there
Yep. This is tricky sometimes. Okay. And there you have it. All right. Uh oh. Why'd it go dark? Sorry about that. My camera seems to be giving me a little bit of trouble sometimes. Uh, but regardless, now that we've got it filled up, go ahead and put your e juice back to the side. That way you don't spill it, make a mess, because heaven forbid, we don't want that happening. I've seen some bad nightmares when that comes to happen. So, okay. <clears throat> now, what you basically want to do is you're going to take your e cig in your tank, okay? And you're going to take and just well, you're just going to take and put the two together, like so. Just like that. Just kind of push them in together. And you're going to take a little bit of paper towel, maybe wipe it down a little bit, you know, because you've been handling it. And might have a little bit of e-juice on some stuff, you know. It's okay to handle e-juice. It's not that bad. Now. I always have to take with this unit here because it, it's uh, for some reason through testing um, I have to always give it a little turn back towards the firing mechanism because if I don't for some reason it has a burning test or not. I don't know if it's just this unit but that's what I have to do so and then I always take the tank and I line it up with the, with the firing mechanism so that it looks right. So now we have the completed e-cab e-cigarette by Joytech. And I gotta tell you I love the design. I would give the design of the e-cigarette and of the kit um, an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's really cool and it's you know I think it's very ideal for the beginning vapor. Uh, for somebody that's getting into vaping, that's uh, switching from uh, analogs, which is real cigarette, you know, and they're just now getting into vaping, this is a very ideal setup. So, let's uh, try it out, and we'll check out the menthol e-liquid, you know, see what the flavor's like and uh, see what the vapor production is like. So, there's nothing left to do but to try it out. So this is the Joytech E-Cab with uh, some menthol e-liquid at uh, 24 milligram and it's a PG strength so here we go. <clears throat> it's a, a very refreshing menthol. Um, let's see here. It's very comparable to that of um, well, very similar to uh, I'd have to say a Marvel Menthol Light, which is very good, very tasty. Um. It's very refreshing. It, it has that, uh, that tobacco uh, menthol flavor in it. Um, it kind of has that, uh, you know, that cowboyness to it. Uh, so I give that, um, I give that a 7 out of 10. 
So let's check the throat hit. It's, uh, it definitely has harshness to it, um, and that's not because of the e-cig, that's the e-liquid, um, it's, uh, it's, but it's cold going down and it's cool coming back up, and it works in conjunction with the taste, um, it has that watery effect that menthol is supposed to have. I'm going to give the throat hit a uh, 7 out of 10. Now let's check the vapor production. Okay. The vapor production is very decent. It's uh, there's there's uh, there's a good amount of it. Um it is satisfying. Uh, <clears throat> it uh, it says um, well. Let's see it again. It's very good, so I mean, I'll give the vapor production uh, an eight out of ten. So there you have it, the E cab. Uh, very ideal for a person that's just getting into vaping, and um, I would recommend this to those that are going to switch from uh, your analog, which is a real cigarette, into uh, e-cigarettes. It's uh, pretty good, you know, for the beginning vapor. So, um, I just want to give a big thank you to the folks at uh, minicigarette.com. Uh, thank you, Miss uh, Kessner. For sending me this product. Um, I hope you enjoyed my review. Please subscribe to my channel. And until next time, keep on vaping and happy vaping.